Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. In today's Reiki session we're going to be working with Reiki of course but also the energy of Kali. It is so present in the world right now and I know you can feel it. Sometimes people don't even realize what it is uh, or they might not be familiar but it is a very strong powerful cleansing and purging energy of the feminine and for those of you that have been working on releasing any toxicity in the body programs um, false beliefs just anything that you want to let go of and for some people this is happening even if they don't want it to like they're they're being released it's a cleansing and a clearing it's a way of freeing us up from all these things that we have believed was us that's not us like people that wear masks or hide their true selves it's about coming in and destroying all that energy and bringing you back to your truth the truth of who you are your divine essence so this might be something you're not ready for just to warn you because this is a very strong powerful energy and she just comes in and just rips it out clears it brings it up and you if you're not in a place that you're ready to deal with this it could be a little bit disconcerting and you might need some time to contemplate and just prepare yourself but for those of you that are ready let's go ahead and get into it so let's start with a little aura scrubbing and just clear up as much as that opening the gate opening the way the path easier than we ever have This indigo gabbro is going to help release any non-serving issues, patterns, and just circling all of the chakras, bringing everything into balance, preparing for the big purging and release, opening the channels. You may experience crying during the session. You may experience anxiety and stress and not sure why or where it's coming from. Just know this is a healthy release. Some anger might come up for you. Just mainly things that don't feel good. If you immediately start feeling maybe even nauseous, this is a really good sign because it is really bringing up and purging all of these things that need to be let go of. And if you catch yourself holding your breath, be sure just to check in every now and then. Make sure you're breathing naturally, slowly, gently. And I'm going to give you this wonder stone that's super grounding. I just want to make sure you feel very stable and also for your hands if you like to hold them or you can just place them on the sides um, tiger eye because you really want to stand your ground stand in your power and just face these challenges allow them to come up so we can release I'm also hearing if there's some resentment that you have going on, anything uncomfortable and unpleasant, basically the things that we don't like to deal with. Just surrendering and allowing this to be cleansed. I'm 
I can feel that presence coming through already. I can tell this is going to be a little bit of an um, aggressive session again. Hashani hinia katayesh kun tiania tata ehenea tiata ushkatai. Bring up. If you feel a little disoriented, discombobulated, just hold your ground. You're in a safe place. This is just part of the awakening process. We all go through this. Niata, niati, niatai, and ni anahana ye kyatai, ustushinu tutu ishkana ye. Right, I'm feeling a lot of area being focused in that heart chakra right now. I feel like my hands are being used as a knife and just separating, detaching, pulling away, <sighs> release. <sighs> Sacral area. <sighs> Same thing. I can feel that hand reaching in there and just grabbing and ripping out. <sighs> <sighs> I don't usually word, use words like that. That is what's coming through. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. Solar plexus. Allowing that fire of the Kali to come in, burning away, stripping away, ripping and tearing releasing you from all of this burden, this pain, this suffering. Ashahanati hunkukukuish. Ashahanati kukutuish niatai. Ututui niatai. Wow, there's like a bunch of ravens, huge ravens, that just showed up out of nowhere. Six, seven. For those of you into animals, that's definitely a message, a sign. <laughs> okay, I'm just feeling this energy expanding and working throughout the entire body. I'm hearing into the veins, fire, energy, flushing, burning. Be sure to drink lots of water after this. I am actually feeling really warm. Like, I don't know if my face is red, but it feels like it's on fire. My entire head and face is so hot. (sighs) 
down the arms and out the hands. Shoulders down the arms, out the hands. Hand to hand. my face red <laughs> like my body is on fire and my hands are ice cold is the strangest feeling hushni nahana working around your head hashntui nanaye kua Okay, I'm feeling it's the energy settling down now. Everything is starting to settle and calm. Wow, that was very potent energy. She does not mess around when she comes in. You can also work with her anytime when you're doing meditation. Just call her, ask her to come in and to help release and break up and purge whatever it is you're trying to let go of. Even if you're not 100% sure what it is, she knows. She knows what needs to be released. Whew. I actually need a second. <laughs> Gentle breath in and slowly out. Settling, calming, acclimating. In case I didn't say it already, drink lots of water and take it easy for the rest of the day if you can. I am feeling really lightheaded and spacey. powerful healing of eternal love is with you now and always. Divine consciousness fills your every cell. You are whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. You are pure, clear, and balanced. And we are wrapping this up with a Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle. I'm not sure if I've used this before other than my readings, but I felt very guided to use it today. And number 32, Escapist, come home to yourself. And it took me a few minutes to think about this, but as always, it's the perfect card. The perfect card comes with every session and if you look closely, it looks like she has a grimoire or something. She's doing some kind of enchantment or possibly a spell. And you can see all the light, the little orbs around her. She's in her PJs on her bed. It looks very cozy and comfortable. And escapist, this is exactly, again, uh, going back to that Kali energy, escaping, purging, clearing up all the things that we have taken on that is not us and escaping that, coming home to your true self. So what a beautiful and appropriate message. We are coming home. We are coming back to ourselves. We don't, we no longer need or we no longer have that fear that we need to wear a mask. We need to hide who we are because all of the things that we may have felt embarrassed or ashamed of, all of these beautiful and amazing traits are what makes us who we are, are what make us so special and unique. So coming home to ourselves, no longer feeling that and just standing in our power, in our beauty, our strength, and really loving ourselves and just feeling so blessed for all those precious gifts and all the things that make us so unique. So thank you so much for joining me today. That was definitely a little bit different for me 
I'll be curious to hear how it affected you. Thank you for your continued love and support. I truly and deeply appreciate you guys. More than you know, there's always so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.